Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie, and today I wanted to do a video on planting potatoes. Now, I don't usually plant a lot of potatoes, if any. I've, I've actually only planted them one other time in the 15 years I lived in this house because I'm on a diet that I, where I can't have potatoes. But my kids volunteered to be the potato eaters, and I wanted to try out a different method of growing things. Now, I'm going to show you what that bed looks like, and then we'll discuss why I decided to do it this way. So this is the area where I just finished filling my new garden beds. And the, I'll link the video up on the top that I just did, which talks about the soil and why I used this soil. But this bed right here is a little bit different. This bed is my experiment. It's gonna be a potato bed. It's not very big because I don't eat a lot of potatoes. My kids won't be eating a lot either. But it was an interesting way to use the extra soil that I had brought in. You know, I brought in a little bit too much. You know, I filled these beds and had some left over. So I used it here. And I also got these four bales of straw for free in the fall last year. They sat out in the rain and the snow and started to decompose. And I really had no place to use them and no place to put them. And a straw bale garden bed is something that I've wanted to try for a long time. I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember Elliot Coldman and Barbara Damarosh, but that dates me clear back to the 90s where they used to have a TV show called Gardening Naturally. And Elliot used to build these giant straw bale garden beds. And I had always wondered how well that would work for me. So now we're gonna try it on a very much smaller scale, see if it works and use the stuff that I had that I needed somewhere to use it for. And we're going to be able to grow some potatoes. So let's go over and look at the bed one more time and we'll talk about the irrigation that I put in it and what the fertilizer is that I'm gonna be using for that. Now I just finished my video talking about fertilizers and garden beds. And this topsoil has compost in it and I have not tested it to see what the levels are. I'm assuming the levels of potassium and phosphorus are going to be pretty high because that's generally what happens here in Utah. Now this, the soil composition is topsoil, screened topsoil, sand, and compost that I purchased from a local nursery. And I'm hoping the salinity levels are not high on this. So let's pull out the fertilizers that I'd like to use, pull out the potatoes, and get planting. So these are the fertilizers I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a little bit of worm castings just because I have them and I can use them. And I'm gonna use blood meal for nitrogen. That's all that this bed should need, I think. We're just going to try it out and see how the potatoes do. I haven't grown potatoes that often before, so this is going to be a learning experience. So let's add the fertilizer and then we'll plant the potatoes. So now we'll just scratch that in, make sure it's mixed nicely. Now I'm going to be planting Yukon Gold tomatoes. I bought way too many because I thought I was going to be planting these out in a, in a row, you know, spread this hay out and do the Ruth Stout method, but I forgot that I don't really have anywhere to do that in my yard. I've already filled everything up. So we're just going to plant, you know, every foot, so maybe four potatoes in this bed. So we'll choose the ones that have the best eyes. They already have eyes growing on them. We're going to bury them about six to eight inches deep, and then we're going to heavily mulch them with hay. So let's get these planted. It's starting to rain again, so I'm going to need to hurry. one here. One in this corner. One in this corner. Maybe let's do five. Let's do one in the center. Now we're going to mulch these with some of the straw I had left over from my figs. 
mulch it really heavily. Now we have our potatoes planted. Now there are a lot of different ways to plant potatoes and I'd love to hear how you do it. This is just a total experiment for me. I am not used to planting potatoes. We'll just see how it goes. Another one that I'm interested in hearing about is the Ruth Stout method. I do have a couple of areas on my property where I could probably put a pile of hay, but I really am not quite sure exactly how it works. So I would definitely love to hear your comments below and hear if you'd like to see me try and do that. So hopefully you've enjoyed my video. If you have enjoyed my video, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Go have a wonderful garden adventure, and I think I need to go inside now because it's starting to rain.